promised uh, the state and the gov uh, government of the state is that I will have a conversation with the president uh, so that um, uh, the, the security services, whether the police or the army or the SSS or other intelligence services, will work with the state for the interests of our people. I am from this state, I'm from Bayelsa State, and I know the challenges these states have in terms of security. And managing the security of River State, Bayelsa State, and Delta State are quite unique. These are extremely riverine areas, and uh, the Nigerian security services, apart from the Navy, the conventional police, and the Army, more than 16% of them may not know how to swim. And uh, managing security in these areas, you would need the locals to support. I remember very well when I was the deputy governor to late chief DSP Alamesia, when we just took over the state, the piracy was so rampant. There was a particular incident that happened that we were so touched. Pirates picked a baby from a, a trader, a lady who was returning from market, and threw the baby into the river and allowed the lady to watch the baby drowned. When that information got to us, Alamesia asked to set up a Bielsa volunteers. We brought uh, one of our uh, boys in Lagos, one Ajuswa Banamesia, to come and head that team. It was even an ad hoc arrangement. It was not even backed up by law. And when we set up the Bayelsa volunteers, we worked with the police and brought that ex ex excesses of the piracy down. So if a state is setting up a volunteer service to help to manage the security, we will expect the maximum cooperation uh, from the police and the army within the state. If there are issues, that need to be cleared. I expect the Commissioner of Police and the, the, uh, the, the Jews, the head of the army here, yeah, I think it's the Jews, yes, to meet with the state, uh, the security advisor to the governor to fine tune those gray areas and brief the governor. Because I've realized that without the locals, you cannot succeed in terms of managing security anywhere in Nigeria. When I was the president, you, you must have about the uh, civilian JTF. Because when the, the, the Boko Haram came to a point, we needed some locals to support the army. It helped so much. So I think we will, uh, I will take up with Mr. President and uh, if there's anything he could do, because it's always good uh, for volunteers, young men who want to help the state to work with the security services to control. And from my experience, in, say, former Deputy Governor and Governor of Bayelsa State, and as much as I know River State, if we don't have that cooperation between our volunteers working with the security services, we will not be able to manage the security challenges of these states. And maybe there's a communication gap. And I think I'll take up with Mr. President to see how it could be resolved amicably for the interests of our people. Medicine. Uh, we, myself and my wife, um, King Tona and Professor Sefa, uh, we decided to come and uh, express our condolences and commiserations to the Governor of River State, uh, His Excellency Governor Wiki, uh, the members of his uh, cabinet, and indeed uh, all our brothers and sisters from River State. The issue of uh, collapse of building has been a part, an ugly part of our country. Even when I was in office in Abuja, we had a major incident in Lagos when a religious uh, house collapsed and a number of foreigners were involved. And, uh, Started making some moves. Uh, thought that by now the country would have moved away from that, but it appears it's still a part of us. And I believe the government, current government, and subsequent governments will do the best to come up with guidelines and regulations to, to reduce this. Because whenever you travel to countries like Rome and you see buildings of 14th century and about still standing and none is collapsing, then you begin to ask ourselves why should our building? collapse. A six-story building is fairly high, but it's not too high. And I believe something must be wrong in terms of design or in terms of engineering, structural engineering and so forth. But really, we came here to uh, commensurate with the state and uh, see how far you've, we've gone with it. Uh, it's a very sad uh, moment for all of us, and I believe you will get over it. Uh, the last time when we had about such a thing in Port Harcourt was when Biosystem was not created, when a school building that uh, Sarko, yes, that uh, affecting small young, young children. And from what we've been told, that somebody even stayed underground for about five days and was rescued. That means that the team are working very well. We have to commend you 
for what you are doing and uh, people who have come to support uh, Julius Beza and our companies. So we commend them for the humanitarian service uh, they are doing for all of us. So we thank you uh, uh, and convey these uh, condolences uh, and empathy to uh, uh, the governor of the state. Thank you. We also feel that at this time we should also draw your attention to an issue which is of particular concern to us in River State. Of recent, we had the opportunity to prepare to assist the security agencies by having the neighborhood volunteer scheme unarmed. They were supposed to be trained to assist with information to the security agencies to solve crime. But to our shock and horror, while they were getting ready to do this task, they were invaded by the army. And it's a concern for us because it does appear as if there is now one rule for some states that have done the same thing and another rule for us who are just trying our best to assist the security agencies. It's a matter that I think we should bring to your attention, sir. As a former president, this is not very good for the image of our country, that we're trying to bring us together the way you always did. You always did your best to bring all of us together. And we're seeing these signs that are not very nice. They are not very good, sir. So we felt you should bring this to your attention. On behalf of His Excellency, the Governor of River State, and indeed the good people of River State, let me personally thank you for this wonderful show of love and concern to your brothers and sisters here. We know you very well that this is your state. We are your people. And definitely what you've done is something we know you for. It's, it's important that the message gets out there that it's not just people who say they are concerned. This is genuine concern. We want to thank you very much for showing us this love. And also, Your Excellency, but we must commend the, the companies that are here working with us. We've been doing this uh, night and day. Uh, so far, about 40 persons has been rescued. And out of these 40, nine of them dead, 31 alive. You know, our condolences to the bereaved family. We have to be diligent and, you know, painstakingly take our time to ensure that those who are still alive are not crushed in the process. The River State University Teaching Hospital and a few other hospitals around came to our rescue and we used them. Mm -hmm.